Hi guys! <laughs> In this video, we're gonna do a to launch up update through my Instagram post from the very beginning when I started collecting airplanes. If you want to hear the story about how I started collecting Talanchas, you can go ahead and watch my video on the Ugly Roman Garden playlist. It's the very first video that I made. This was actually not a very long time ago. I started collecting air plants in um, around April yeah, around April 2019. Just a disclaimer, this was my first time. And as any other beginners, I had a lot of errors. You know, I had a lot of mistakes. For me, it was like, okay, these plants are beautiful. I have to have them, I have to buy them, I have to keep them. And then most of them died. Of course, they didn't know how to take really take care of them. They didn't know much about them at that time. But now I've learned a lot. I've taken care of them. Most of them are still living longer than before. They're just reaching milestones and that just makes me happy. So again, we're gonna do a Talancha update through my Instagram photos from the very beginning. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna say whether they're alive, if they're still thriving, or they're dead. If they're dead, I'm gonna tell you what was the cause of death. What are the things that I've been doing to avoid further deaths of the airplanes. I'm gonna tell you my errors, you know, so that you would learn as well without without killing any other airplanes in the process. I like me. So this is my very first airplant. Um, <laughs> This was dated way back April 13 of 2019. Okay, this is the Talancha could put me to say. So, unfortunately, this is already dead. And I named her Medusa before, I think. I forgot. Right? Yeah, I named her baby Medusa before, and I killed her. She lasted a bit longer than the others, though. Yeah, so what was the cause of death? Like any other kaput is common cause of death. Rot. Okay, so I overwatered her. I didn't know before that you're not um, supposed to soak bulb like air plants for a very long time. You're just supposed to dip them or spray them. Yeah, I didn't know that before. As you've noticed in the picture, the kaput is inside an enclosed bottle. That's a no-no. I bought it like that in the store from the store. You know, they're just doing it for display, for packaging, I don't know. But yeah, it looks good, it looks pretty, it looks it looks amazing. That's why I bought it like that. But it's, it's actually wrong. Airplanes need air circulation, and this enclosed bottle does not provide that. So that's also wrong. And if um, another wrong thing at the time, I remember me <laughs> spraying this air plant inside this bottle. Yeah, I know, it's so brutal. I didn't know I was stupid. <laughs> yeah, so that also contributed to it rotting. And so I actually also posted um, a couple of pictures of this way back and um, was also still able to put them in my decorations, but yeah, it died. Okay, I like this. I think I bought this together with my Talancha Kaput Medusa. This is the second air plant that I picked from the store. This is a uh, Talancha Ayananta Guatemala, if I'm not mistaken. So I also bought this with this design, okay, with the, the glass, this shot glass or something with the small crystals inside. So. Dead. Okay, cause of death, also rot. Okay, like I said, I was stupid. I used to spray my air plants right where, you know, exactly right where they are on the decoration, on their homes. So this is a glass home and it traps moisture very well, which is not good for the air plants. Well, I also, I also used to um, soak these plants, you know, but I think the most common error that I've done with this Ayananta is that I sprayed it directly right onto its um, right on its home. Right on its home. 
Yeah, so no, no, that didn't happen again. Actually, I, I, you know, after this Ayanatha, I've killed a lot more Ayanathas because I'm really not good with them. Another thing to take note is that when after you, you soak them or you water them, you need to wrinkle them and you put them outside, upside down, you know, to let the, the water from the center of the plant trickle down and to avoid it from rotting. You should do that and you should ventilate, you should provide um, enough air circulation for it to dry. I didn't do that. <laughs> this is a Tilancha Perchicalus Abdida. So, fortunately, dead. <laughs> okay, so cause of death is also rot. Yeah. They, yeah, most of my airplanes before, you know, from the beginning died of rot. Again, guys, I was new. I didn't know what I was doing. I did some research, but you know how the internet is. You know how Google is. He says this, he says that, it's wrong, that's right, you know? <laughs> I followed, but it didn't come through. Again, same thing with my Ayunantha. Spread it on its home, spread it on the decoration. Where after I, well, in fairness, at this time, I already know about drying it up, but I didn't ventilate. I thought that the room temperature, you know, I'm, I'm taking care of all my airplanes indoors because I don't have the luxury of a veranda or anything like outdoor thing. We live near the street, so in the city. So we don't have a veranda, um, a porch, a backyard, front yard, no, mm -mm, none of those. So I thought that the room temperature and the air circulation around the room was enough for me to dry them up. But no, they rot. And as you can see in the other picture here, how I dry them up. I just put them wherever position and I didn't think of water actually um, collecting in at the center of the plant. I didn't think of any of that. So, um, there you go, rot. Okay, next picture. Okay, this one. This is, uh, I bought this at the same store where I bought my Talancha Kapitmanese and my Ayunanta. This is a Talancha Juntifolia. So I used to call her, I actually called her Drogon because it looks like a dragon. It looks like a dragon, you know, in the face, and never mind. Okay. <laughs> Dead. Actually, this one lasted for a very long time, longer than the rest, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is the air plant that lasted longer than the rest of my first set of air plants. This one was a bit um, tricky. Tricky, why? Because I thought it was still alive for a long time. I didn't know that it was already starting to rot in from the inside out. You know, it looked, it looked healthy outside, everything's perfect and stuff like that. And then I didn't know, but deep inside, it was already rotting. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, like I said, dead, rot, you know, terrible. I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. So as you can see here, I used this in my jellyfish airplane thing. I put it inside a sea urchin. Well, well not the entire thing, a thing, of course, it's not your fit. But the head, I mean, its base is like the head of the jellyfish, right? So on lazy days, on my lazy days, I just spray the entire thing, spray the entire thing, not thinking that the moisture could trap inside that sea urchin. And yeah, that's what happened. It caused rot and boom, die. Next one is, yes, yeah, you've noticed, I really like to recycle Nutella bottles and all kinds of bottles and stuff for my airplanes way before because, you know, I was a newbie and all I know is you know, putting them in bottles, so, because that's how I bought them. This next one is a uh, Talancha um, Sudu by Lei. Okay, so this is another bulb air plant. So by now you would have guessed. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, it died. <laughs> and yes, it died abroad. It's bulb air plant. I didn't know that you're not supposed to soak them for a very long time well guys i did i'm sorry so yeah boom it died 
it's that it's terrible. It's terrible because you know it's heartbreaking when you're you've taken care of them. You think they're they're you know they're beautiful and they're doing so well. Then all of a sudden, when you pick it up after you water them, they they fall part by part, piece by piece, leaf by leaf, they fall apart. And then you can see at the very center, there's a black, wet thing in the at the center of the plant. So that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this picture, I'm, I'm really not sure what kind of um, Tilancha this is. I'm really not sure what kind of species this is. If you do know, please put it in the comment section down below. Um, I think it's a Tilancha capitata, but I'm really not sure. It really looks cool because it looks like a, it looks like a, a hand of some sort. And I think it was blushing that time because of the pink, um, pink, uh, no, pinkish blush. It has a blush at that time, and I think I think that it was about to bloom. And I thought it was okay the entire time, and then all of a sudden I saw that the leaves started to loosen up, and then. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah, you've guessed it. It's dead. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> and yeah, you've guessed the cause. Right? Why? This one is in a bottle too, right? As I've said earlier, common mistake that I've made way back before. I spray the thing right inside this bottle. I just sprayed it because I was lazy. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. So. Boom, right. So guys, as you know by now, when you want to water your air plants, put them out of the container, put them out of whatever they're in. Except maybe if they're mounted, if they're mounted on a certain thing like a, a wood or a wood chip or whatever, you mounted them on, that's okay. That's okay, you can um, dip the entire thing, including the mount, including the, the wood thing. You can spray them. Um, you don't need to detach them. If you're taking care of them outdoors, that's okay too. You can spray them where they are because outdoors there's more air circulation, there's enough wind, there's enough air for your air plants to dry, there's sunlight and stuff like that. And if you're inside the apartment, you should be careful about these things. You know, you should take these things into consideration because it's very limited inside the apartment, inside the house, indoors. It's very limited. The air is limited. The air is limited. <laughs> the temperature, all that stuff, you have to take that into consideration as well as the light. So, yeah, careful. This is my very first Tilancha Serographica, as you can see. It's so small. When I ordered this, I thought that it's going to be bigger, but it's actually quite small. It's <laughs> yeah, so I should guess it's already. It's that. If you want to know how to water your air plants, I, ha I also made a video for that. You go ahead and check that on the other grown garden playlist. I've mentioned there that one of those air plants that you should not, no, that you must not soak for a very long time is Tilancha serographica. Tilancha serographicas um, live, you know, in Arizona deserts, I think. so. They're not used to very long um, exposure to water. So, yeah. I've soaked this air plant like very long, for a very long time before. I even, I remember even soaking it for, you know, overnight. You know, when I, I feel like I, I just leave them there, all my air plants actually. I think that's another reason why they got rotten. I just leave them there in the pail and another one, pale. I didn't use filtered water. I didn't use rainwater. I don't have access to rainwater, by the way. I leave a bucket full of water overnight or, you know, 16 hours or so. Or some tap water are very dangerous to air plants because they contain certain chemicals that would, that would um, kill air plants, that would destroy their trichomes. I didn't know that. I didn't know about, you know, letting the water, tap water stay in the bucket for a long time before actually using it for your air plants. Mm -mm -mm. So, I leave it just like that. I put the tap water inside the buckets and I put my air plants in and leave them for 24 hours or so though. It's terrible. Trichomes, gone, possibly. And then, boom, air plants, rot. That was before. Me, now, better. 
the next one. Okay, this is a cute picture. Okay, this actually went along with my Talantia Serographica inside the box and package. And uh, this is a Talantia Osnoides. You can say that this was my first Spanish one. <laughs> Well, I didn't actually order it. It just went along with the Talantia Serographica. You know, not really a pre, uh, not really a freebie on purpose. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I think that because I I lost it. I didn't know where it went. It was too small. I just you just used to hang it around. It's gone. One day I didn't find it anymore. It's gone. I think I don't know where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's that. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm not sure what type of air plant this is either. Again, if you know what this is, if you can identify what this is, please go ahead and comment down below. When I bought this, it's it already looks like this. It already looks dried up. Well, I actually thought that I can save it, <laughs> right? I read, I, I've watched on some other YouTube videos and I've searched on the internet that if in order for you to save a dried up plant, you should soak them overnight or you water them more frequently for them to regain their moisture. Yeah, so that's what I did. That's what I did. I followed the instructions. <laughs> and guess what? Bam, bam. They died. It died. It died. Aww. On another cause, it died of rot. Died of rot over watering and to think this plant was so dried up crispy and brown but it died of rot in my hands <laughs> moving on last one well not actually the last one i think i'm gonna do a part two of this because there are just there's just a lot guys if you want to see all photos of my talanches on instagram you can go ahead and follow me on lits at lits valencia yeah you can see all of them there so this is another Talantia Bergicalo Sabdita. So you might already guess what happened to this. Oh, by the way, I make my own decoration starting at this point. Starting at the point where I had my jellyfish things. I've started making my own decorations, you know, I've started to not to spray them on the decorations or in the bottle. That's wrong. I didn't, I, I've stopped doing that. So this one. <laughs> You might have guessed, yes, it's already dead. Aww. And yes, it also died of rot. And yes, I made an error. I made the error of spraying it in directly inside the bottle. Mm -mm, that's a no no. Mm -mm, that's a no no. You should remember that too. <laughs> hey guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> So I hope you've learned something, you know, I, I hope you've learned from my errors. You know, people learn from their mistakes. Since you watched this video, I hope you'll learn from my mistakes. Oh, wow, <laughs> poor airplanes, they're gonna be extinct if we keep on doing that, right? Again, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.